for today's video. I'm going to be doing a haul video and I'm so excited that you guys know I love haul videos. I know that you guys love haul videos and the last time I did a shopping haul was for Black Friday, which was in November, which was a long time ago. Um, for the most part, I online shop, but when I do like go to the malls and stuff like that, I tend to go to the stores that I don't online shop at, so like Bath & Body Works, Forever 21, and all that good stuff. But before we get into the video, do not forget to subscribe. We are almost at a million, okay? Almost at a million. Once we reach a million, it's like a huge goal of ours, and it's just like a huge celebration. I'm having a huge giveaway, so I cannot wait for that. So yeah, hit that subscribe button, and let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so the first store I went to was Sephora I picked up a couple of things and I actually used a lot of the items that I purchased to do the makeup that I have on right now and let me tell you I'm pretty shook so the first thing is I picked up the YSL blur primer I have the other primer which is the hydrating one but I didn't know it was a color correcting one and I don't really need a color correcting primer but I've heard a lot of good things about this I've seen I'm Reezy use it and Girl, her skin is freaking bomb and I tried it. I love it. Probably the only thing is that I already noticed that like my makeup is creasing from the side. So I don't know if I apply too much. But so far I am loving this primer. It also smells really, really good. Next up, I picked up the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. I've heard so many good things about this foundation. All of my friends have tried it and I am in love with it. Now I see why Jacqueline loves it. It just leaves your skin really flawless. I am going to say though that it was really like sheer and you have to like build it up slowly if you put a lot all at once it's just going to like be a mess but i did like two layers i think three thin layers i did not do them thick but this was really 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 good i'm actually really excited about that i also had to restock on my laura mercier powder and let me tell you guys i've been using the patrick star powder the translucent powder in collaboration with mac and when i tried this one i was just like Something looks weird about my makeup and I just have fallen in love with that Patrick Star powder that when I tried this one today I was kind of like, mm, kind of disappointed but still one of my favorites. And the last product is I had to restock on my Chanel perfume. The last time I bought this was in the Black Friday haul and I already finished it you guys. This perfume is just so amazing. If you want to buy this for your mom, for Valentine's or for your girlfriend, boyfriend. Oh wait, actually you can buy this for your boyfriend. Oh yeah, you can. You know, you guys get it. This is my favorite Chanel perfume. It is the pink one. The Oh Fraché Eau de Toilette. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how to say that. But yeah, this is my favorite one. Oh, wait. Actually, that was not the last item. The last item is this right here, which is the um, Teal Beauty Blender. You know what's so ironic, though, is that when Beauty Blender posted that they were coming out with a Tiffany Blue... blue, 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 blue. Why can I say Beauty Blender? Oh, my God. Tiffany Blue Beauty Blender. Oh my god! Tiffany Blue Beauty Tiffany Blue Beauty Blender. Blah. When Beauty Blender came out with a Tiffany Blue one, everybody flooded their comments by tagging me and everybody was like, Daisy, this is you in a beauty blender, Daisy, 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 Daisy. So they actually reached out to me and they were like, hey, like we see all your fans commenting you and tagging you on our picture. We would love to send you some and they actually never sent them to me. Why? I don't know. I'm on their PR list, which is really weird, but I just went ahead and just bought it. I'm actually really excited to try this. I'm not going to lie though. I'm more of a fan of the Tarte Quickie Blend sponge and the Sigma 3D HD sponge and I really love a beauty blender, but I want to add this to my Tiffany Blue collection. Next store is Morphe and actually I didn't go in there to buy the stuff. I was doing something and I told Alex, I was like, hey, can you go pick up a Jaclyn Hope palette for me, please? Because mine is pretty beat up and the packaging is already like coming off like from the hot glue and stuff and I was like I need a new one so you know what's so funny that he went to go buy me the Jaclyn Hill palette right and I thought that's all he got but he was like babe he's like I saw this in there he was like and I really wanted to get it for you and when he pulled this out I was like Jeffree Star Cosmetics I was like you he knows I don't use that brand and I just found it really weird that he got this for me and I was like what is it and he was like, well, it reminded me of you. And I was like, why? And then when I read it, it says it's a, it's a hot cocoa peppermint lip scrub. And he knows I love lip scrubs. He knows I love hot cocoa. So he was like, I just wanted to buy it for you. He's like, I'm sorry. And I was like, no, don't apologize. Like, I don't care that I don't use his brand or whatever. But I thought it was just so cute how Alex was like being thoughtful. When he went to the makeup store and he saw this, he was like, oh, hot cocoa. Reminds me of Daisy. If you guys know, I love hot cocoa and lip scrub, so. Yeah, he picked this up. Actually, I've never tried this before, so. Let me see. I don't even know if these are like good or not. All lip scrubs are edible, so I'm gonna. Mm. 
It literally tastes like a peppermint mocha or something. Wow, it smells really good. And actually there's a lot of product in here. Mm. I don't know, I would have to try this out to see if I like it or not, but the scent is really spot on. <laughs> I just still find it so cute how he bought me this. Although I don't use this brand, but I also told Alex to get me the beauty sponge from Morphe because I've heard a lot of good things and I wanted to try it out myself. And I actually tried it out today and it is good and it actually expands bigger than the quickie sponge that I usually use. I really like it though, it's good. So that is actually it. I'm actually, you know what? I don't know if the palette that they sell in Morphe is the one that comes with like the glossy lid or not. So. Did you guys know her first launch was with like that matte? Oh, oh, here's the difference. Oh, and we have the shade in the back. Oh, okay. Okay, so here is my Jaclyn Hill palette, which the cover and the material is like that matte material. So you know, like even if you have like matte nails, they get dirty really easily. Well, that's the problem with the packaging, which is why they had to update it because everyone was complaining about the packaging. And not to mention, like, girl, mine is already falling apart from over here. How? I don't know. But as you can tell, this one is, like, shiny, glossy, super white compared to this one. This one has no shine. This one has a lot of shine to it. Here's the difference from the back. And let me look at it from the inside. It should come with, like, the little clear thing. Okay, here it is. Oh, my God. Nothing feels better than, like, opening a new Jaclyn Hill pack. Okay, next up is Forever 21, and I actually went all out. I feel like every time I go shop at Forever 21, they just come out with a lot of cuter stuff. They even have stuff for like your house. They have like mats and comforters. I don't know, they just come out with a lot of stuff. But I do want to say, something that I have been purchasing a lot lately is uh, workout clothes, specifically tights and leggings and all that stuff. I feel like just cute workout clothes motivates you even more to work out. And just because I don't Snapchat myself or take a selfie or film myself at the gym does not mean I'm not at the gym. Personally, I hate filming myself at the gym or taking selfies and stuff. Because when I go to the gym, it's just like I'm there for one reason and one reason only. It's to work out. And once I put my headphones in, it's like the whole world is just like shut out and I'm just in my zone. Plus, I look all sweaty. I make these ugly faces. I just, it's just not my forte. But just because I don't film myself at the gym does not mean I'm not at the gym. But um, when I don't go to the gym, then girl, I have some stairs here. I do some squats on the stairs. I have been working my ass off. Not to mention eating really healthy. So that's that. I got a lot of. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I got is I love this like peppermint kind of green blue color. I don't really know what to call it. It's like a mint color, but I got the tights. I got the top that goes with it, and then there was also some shorts, so I just got all three of those. I also got these like periwinkle tights as well. Leggings, I don't know why I keep saying tights. And then I got these. These were probably my favorite ones. It has like a little like diamond kind of theme going on it's really really cute i also got the matching top and i got a white one just in case i don't want to wear this one with this one and the white one is just so universal you can pair this with any leggings and stuff and i also purchased this really really cute shirt it says los angeles club girl wait. girls club there we go club girls what the heck it's just like a white little tank top probably wear this with like a pair of shorts and what I was really surprised to see is that Honda collabed with Forever 21, which is like really weird. Like you think about like influencers collabing with makeup brands and that's completely normal, but like a car brand with the clothing brand, it's a little bit weird to me. But I actually saw this. It's like a huge oversized t-shirt. I made sure to get it in a large. It says Honda on the sides, what it looks like from the front, from the back. And I would just wear this with like some over the knee boots when I want to look really casual but still look really cute. Or maybe some like booties. I just ordered some booties that are this color so I'm really excited to wear that with that. And every single time I go, you guys, I have to get some jewelry. I love the jewelry. Oh, actually, I picked up these because when I do my makeup, I don't like my hair being in my face. And I lose these constantly. They're like freaking legas. You lose them all the time. These are just some really cute hair clips. So the main thing that I get from Forever 21 is rings. I feel like rings just really can make a huge difference. Especially when I like get my nails done, I like to have rings on my hands so I can take cute pictures. 
but I, every single time I buy rings, I just lose them. I don't know why. But I like to buy the ones that go right here and then the other ones that just go regularly. So this is the first pair of rings that I bought. They have just like little diamonds on them. They're not even real diamonds, but you guys get what I mean. And I also like buying the ones that you can wear right here. That way whenever I'm like posing, like to take a picture of my nails, I have the rings right here, looks really cute. This is the second pair. Here are the last ones. They're just all like gold, kind of dainty, simple rings, but I feel like they make a huge difference. And then I also purchased these. Oh my God, these are just freaking bomb. I wait. Sorry, mom. I also purchased these glasses. I like the triangle frame to them. I think it's really, really cute. Just, you know, serving looks at 10 p.m. Wow, ah, my hair got stuck over here. Y'all, yeah, I hate when I go like this and me mira unas orejotas. Oh, hell no. That's how I like to fluff up my hair, tease it up a little bit, hide my ears. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot I got this. I got this charm bracelet. I used to love collecting charm bracelets and this one is so beautiful it has the virgencita on there it has a rose on there wait is this even the virgencita yeah it's the virgin mary but in spanish we call her la virgencita look how cute that is can you see that it is the most beautiful charm bracelet i've ever seen and it was only five dollars you guys their jewelry is really really cheap so i recommend you guys go check out the jewelry because these rings were all five dollars literally all these sets are five dollars and they can make an outfit look really, really cute. All right, so that is it for Forever 21. Moving on to the next one. I'm just passing the bag with my toe. Is Key Australia. I was actually just shopping yesterday online for these glasses. And then I was like, oh, they actually have a store here. It's actually way better. That way I don't have to pay for shipping. And pretty much I just got all of the new Desi Times Key mini collection so originally she came out with this collab and the frames were really big but the only thing i didn't like is that since i have such a small face the frames would literally take up my entire face and they would like come all the way down to here which i didn't like at all so i went ahead and i bought every single color in the mini collection hold on it's gonna take me some time to get these out so here's what the first pair looks like it has the gold frame to it and as you can tell they're really small. You see how they stop right here? The other ones came like right here, like down here. So this is what the minis look like. I love the colors to them. You can probably see my camera through here. I'm not even sure you can see all my lights. Can you see all my lights? I have two lights right here and one light right there. Hello. <laughs> However, I cannot wear this with makeup on because my lashes are so big that they hit the frame and my eyes are like all like you know stuck up in there so here what the black ones look like it has like the little fade gradient kind of look to it Whoa. they're really cute here's what they look like up close so this is the very last pair this is the metallic frame so they're all black but the frame is metallic so you guys can see these are the exact same but these are gold and these are black and then here is the difference these have a little fade to it these are the only glasses that i would really invest a lot of money into because they are pretty expensive they're like 65 dollars per pair but i'm really proud of desi and i love the collection i actually have the kylie collection as well but i didn't really like that collection as much as the desi one plus you gotta support your friends so I'll support it okay so y'all know i had to save the best for last i had to save bath and body works for last because you guys know that is my favorite favorite store and i have to leave that store at the very end to shop because i always end up buying a lot of candles and it's really heavy and i'm like carrying them around so the first candle that i got i really like the white barn candles if you go into bath and body works and you like that like abercrombie and fitch smell that like really sophisticated and sexy like you, you, know, you know what the Abercrombie store smells like, okay? Um, most of their candles have that smell to it. Um, so this is the Vanilla Bourbon Peach, and it smells... Oh, man, I just wish you guys could smell this. It literally smells like if vanilla and peach were to have a baby, this is what it would smell like. If you like sweet and citrusy smells, this one is for you because the peach and the vanilla just smell freaking amazing. Next one up, I fell in love with this packaging, you guys look it has like that pink marble packaging super super pretty this one is pink prosecco this one smells like a this one smells like a starburst but like a floral starburst <laughs> that makes sense oh wait lavender is here which one oh 
I had it wrong. The one that is lit right now is mahogany. I'll, I'll bring it up right now. But this is the lavender one I was talking about. Look at the packaging. It's so freaking cute. It kind of reminds me like just of spring and a candle. This one is lavender marshmallow. And it literally smells like what it says. Lavender and marshmallows. It smells so good. The candles were on sale. You guys know I always go when they're on sale. I have the app and everything and I have the like coupon codes. So I went in and I was like, where are the $12.99 candles? They were like, oh, the candles are on sale. And I was like, yeah. Okay, so let me go get the other candle. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, 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 ow, fuck, I just stubbed my toe. Ow, ow, fuck, fuck. Okay, so here is the candle that I have lit right now. The packaging is similar to this marble one over here, but it has like gray and red tones in there. You can kind of see it. This is mahogany coconut. It literally smells like the Abercrombie Fitch store, but with a lot of coconuts in it. It smells really tropical. It just reminds me of like vacation. This just makes you want to unwind. Sip a little bit of wine. Jay can not even drink wine. Um, but yeah, this smells like the Abercrombie Fitch store with like some coconut oil in there, which smells freaking amazing. I'm just over here holding this like the Statue of Liberty. Hello, everybody. Um, if you don't usually purchase candles from Bath and Body Works, but you're looking for a really good one to buy, I just recommend you buy the White Barn candles. Those are the best ones out there, in my opinion. All right, guys. So that is it for this shopping haul. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.